everybody. Welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace, way up high in the Andes Mountains. It's four and a half thousand meters. And so if I'm having a hard time breathing, it's because there's no oxygen up here. But what I want to talk to you about today is using a long lens for scenic photography. Now I know we're always thinking when we're shooting scenic photos, use wide angle lenses, our 15s, or 21s, or 35s, and definitely those work. You can see these images that I've shot in the past using my wide angle lenses. We get that beautiful sort of uh, three dimensional feeling or being pulled into the image. That's why we love our wide angle lenses. But for wide angle lenses to be effective, we need foreground interest. We need something to pull us into the scene. Well, sometimes when we're shooting scenic photography, we don't have that foreground interest, or we'll have something that's way off in the distance like this. There's some amazing mountain peaks back there, but they're hard to see because I'm using a wide angle shot right now. Now I shot this earlier with a 35 millimeter lens, and you can see that we've got tons of uninteresting, just nasty foreground interest, and those mountain peaks are just way off in the distance. They're just little tiny bumps. But instead, what I can do is I can use a long lens. Now a long lens is going to do several things for me when I'm shooting scenic photography. The first is in a situation like this, it's going to take that thing that's way off in the distance and it's going to bring it close. In fact, let me shoot this. I'm going to shoot this at f8. I'm focusing almost at infinity and because it's sort of a bright day here, I can get away shooting this handheld. So this is at a thousandth of a second and you can see that this really brings that, those mountains closer to me. And that's one thing that you really want to do when you have something way off in the distance. A so wide angle lens is just going to lose that. To our naked eye, we see this mountain range and it's amazing. But when you take that wide angle picture, it's just a blip in the background. We don't like that. Another thing that a, a long lens will do for your scenic photos, I think it's even more dramatic than something like this, is it will compress that image. And what that means is when we have a lot of things that are in the distance, like rolling hills, mountain ranges that are way off in the distance, when we shoot with a wide angle lens, we can't really tell how close they are together. If we use a long lens, we can exaggerate that and make them feel compressed, that they're closer together, mountains and mountains and mountains and mountains and clouds, and we can do that. Now on the way to Cusco, I actually shot some pictures in the Andes Mountains. And you can see here's one I shot with a, I think a 35 millimeter lens. And you can sort of see the expanse and sort of the, the atmospheric conditions of the mountain range. But really the magic happened when I put my long lens on my camera. This is a 135 millimeter lens. And I just saw a section of that. Now you can see that compression really happening where things are being uh, pushed closer together. We get all of that fog and those clouds and we get that really amazing scene. And I think I also cropped this so it's a 16 by nine, which gives it that cinematic effect. A long lens will not only bring things that are far away closer, things like that, but they'll make them look closer to each other, those mountain ranges, the river next to the mountain, etc. A long lens will really help you out. Now when I was in Patagonia, this also proved itself out. I shot Mount Fitzroy using this 135 millimeter lens. It's one of my favorite shots of Fitzroy. Now when I got to the mountain peak, some of you will remember that episode, I shot with a 21 millimeter lens. I got way too much uninteresting foreground interest. I switched to a lens that was a little bit longer, not a really long telephoto, but a 50 millimeter lens. And that 50 gave me this shot which is one of my favorite Patagonia images that I shot. This image of Fitzroy is pretty cool, but I've shot a lot of scenic photos using long lenses. Let me give you a look at some of those images just so you get an idea of what you can do with long lenses and scenic photography. The point is, in some situations when our foreground interest just isn't interesting, or when we're shooting at things really far away, a long lens is really going to do the trick. So when you're packing your bag this summer, you're going out on your uh, big camping adventures, your family vacations, whatever, I know you're thinking wide angle lenses for scenic photography, but don't forget that long lenses can really give you some dramatic effects, really using that compression, bringing those things that are far away really close. Long lenses 
can really do some amazing things for scenic photography. So try it out yourself this summer as you're traveling around and taking your vacations. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. It's absolutely free. That way you don't miss anything from any of our contributors. And if you want to know more about scenic photography and using wide angle lenses and foreground interest and in focusing on hyperfocal, all that stuff, check out the Adorama Learning Center. We've covered all of that in the past. It's really amazing and it's free. So check it out. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you again next time.